let's say you have created this tensile dog bone model this end is fixed and this end is pulled up instead of running in this complete model we will create a job let's name this job dog bone and continue now you can right click at this job and uh, click write input so a input file for this model named dog bone has been created to find the location of that input file click the windows button in your keyboard type in abacus and uh, when you see abacus cae right click and open file location and it will take you to the folder that contains cae launch file right click at cae go to properties and check start at folder here is the dogbone.inp input file in the abacus cae target folder now we will create a text file let's name it uh, math to aba matlab to abacus change the extension of this text file to make it a m file and then open it in matlab type in this line of code the first part is the name of this job so we have this input file dogbone.inp next this optional command cpu is equal to 3 you can change this and decide as many number of processor cores you want to use but this is optional you can run abacus from matlab without this command and the next one is interactive so this means if you run this job from matlab and as this job executes some important message from abacus will be displayed here if you want you can also get rid of this so basically this one line of code is enough to run a job from matlab if you have set it up your input file and the matlab file in the same folder as the target for the abacus cae but just to observe the message here let's say we have restored cpu number and interactive command now if we run this line as i said already interactive will means that we get some command from abacus here at the same time as new files are created including the odb file they are generated and you can see them live updating here so keep an eye here and here as we run this script the script has started new files are being generated and information on the abacus is being put here and the job is running and I can see this uh, size is increasing so that means jo the job is ongoing so basically you can tell by looking at the size of your ODB file that if the job has finished running or not it's still running now we can see the size of this uh, dogbone.odb file is not changing anymore this is an indication that the job has been completed due to this interactive command we can also see that message in matlab now you can open this odb file from abacus cae So basically this job has been run from matlab as you are watching this video that means you know that uh, the job can be also run from here but you have chosen to run the job from matlab due to some advantages for example if you run the job from matlab you can actually have additional lines of code to read a certain output of this model automatically and you can even automate and do a parametric study uh, change some parameters could be for example the dimension could be some material properties and then run this job again and uh, in this script you can also request for a particular output data so this video is just showing a way how you can run a abacus input file from matlab but uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see the later part of this video where we do the parametric studies 
and in some cases use MATLAB to read any desired output file and make necessary comparison actually if you have request i can show you even the next step how you can automate the parametric study using matlab and then even do optimization of different parameters just let me know in the comments if you are interested